YouTube. Welcome back. Maddie Rips here. It is Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I know I had an amazing weekend. Um, our most recent video that we posted on Friday kind of went crazy um, in my eyes. You know, for us, it, we are, it became our most watched video of all time. And it's currently getting those views, which has been pretty amazing, pretty great. Um, currently, we are at 1,600 views. Um, we've got tons of great responses, tons of uh, great reactions. So if you haven't watched that video, uh, go ahead and check that out. That's we are ripping a 2020 uh, select mega box in that. So um, again, thank you everyone for the love and support. Um, as discussed in our previous video, we are going to be doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we are at 143 as of this video being made. So if you are not subscribing, go ahead and smash that sub button because we are be giving away two cards. At 200 subscribers, we are be giving away this Jean Morant NBA debut mosaic rookie card, as well as this Justin Herbert absolute football rookie card. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, uh, and thank you guys for the love and support uh, leading up to this point. And let's keep growing, guys. Thank you again. Um, so today's video, we are going to be ripping, um, as you can see, this collectible card club box. And we are going to be discussing um, some news and rumors circulating around um, kind of like the retail products with Target and Walmart. Um, there's been some rumors slash photos circulating around the internet of um, Target potentially ending trading card sales, retail sales, uh, at least in store um, beginning. There's a sign that says June 4th as well as a sign that popped up around Walmart this week uh, addressing its uh, retail vendors saying, please do not stock the shelves as there's been some misbehavior happening. Uh, wait until further notice. So we are going to go looking at those signs. And then as well, um, Pini actually just released um, a statement today regarding the status of retail product in stores. So we're going to check that out, read that together. Um, we're going to switch over to the computer, so go ahead and join me over there. And once we come back, we're going to be ripping this collectible card club box. All right, so here is the photo that's gotten everyone in a frenzy over the last week. Um, I've seen this photo in, on Instagram, Discord groups, um, Facebook groups, um, as well as Reddit. So this is the one that got everyone believing that Target potentially could be stopping the sales um, of trading cards. I believe this is only posted at one store, if it even is real, but it seems like it's an isolated post. But we're going to read it anyway because this did freak out the all of the internet uh, in terms of the hobby. Uh, due to high demand and to accommodate the safety of guests and employees, the sales of all trading cards, NFL, Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh!, etc., will be suspended effective 6 4 21. For any questions, please our customer service team. So they want you to please their customer service team or they forgot to put the word contact to please contact our customer service team. So right away, people thought because of that huge typo that this was potentially Photoshopped, faked, or just actually just posted ad in um, an isolated store and they just made a huge typo. But anyways, it has been circling all around the internet, like I said. Um, so this got people in the hobby freaking out and especially um, with this as well coming out or this post surfacing on the internet. Um, attention, trading card vendors from Walmart. Um, trading card categories have been removed from the sales floor and sales of these items have been suspended due to inappropriate customer behavior and increased demand. Please do not stock these items further um, until further direction for management has been given. Questions and comments can be directed towards the management team since our thank you storage man store management. Um, so between these two posts, um, it definitely got the internet uh, riled up in a frenzy in the target or in the trading card community, um, especially for those who that basically that's their only access of gain trading cards is through retail. As we know how hard it is to fight the bots on target, uh, target and Walmart's website. So in response, um, Panini actually came out today, a couple hours ago, May 10th and issued a statement on behalf of the retail marketplace situation. So Panini, address, uh, Panini America addresses current retail marketplace situation. It's certainly no secret that unprecedented uh, explosion of the sports collectibles industry has dramatically impacted seemingly every conceivable part of the business, including manufacturing, distribution, fulfillment, protective supplies, grading services, and perhaps most strikingly, the mass retail marketplace. 
Simply, current market conditions have created never before seen scenes that include release day lines wrapped around stores, wild, seemingly uncontrollable crowd in trading card sections, and not long thereafter, barren shelves. Collectively, these situations have led to, among other things, policy changes by some stores, rampant speculation, and misinformation, and hard feelings among many collectors. Today, Panini America officially aims to set the record straight with some simple facts. Target and Walmart continue to be Panini America retail partners, and Panini America works closely with retail distributors to service those accounts. Panini America officials take feedback regarding um, alleged improperties, uh, seriously, proprieties, seriously, and research credible complaints thoroughly. If action is required, Panini America takes it. That process will continue. Um, Target has made some policy changes to ensure the safety of store guests. As of April 30th, Target is selling trading cards only online, uh, on, or excuse me, Target is selling trading cards only on Fridays and is limiting guests to one unit purchases. Please reach out to your local Target store to learn specifically how they are implementing the policy and how you can purchase Panini America product. We are in charted waters right now. That is a fact, said DJ um, Kaz Kazmierz, uh, hopefully somewhere along those lines, uh, Panini America's Vice President of Sales and Product Development. When it comes to retail marketplace, we're seeing things we've never seen before in this industry. Most of it great some of it's not and we're doing everything we can to protect the short-term and long-term viability of the retail sector so there we have it, everyone panini america you know has come out and stated that for the foreseeable future um, target and walmart will continue to um, supply and stock um, trading card product from panini at least um, which is great you know, that, 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 then, you know, they'll calm down the mass riot and the panics and everything that's happening in the forums right now, all over the internet. Um, I'm ecstatic about it. As you guys know, I've been following my channel that I've been going to target every Friday to get my one item. And if I hit an air store, two or three items. So, I've uh, been very excited, very excited to see this, um, pop up today and hopefully going forward that, you know, they'll figure out, I know it last week at target, um, I forget where it was, but there was a fight or a robbery that happened. The gun was pulled. So there's been some crazy stuff. You guys, um, you know, if you're in line at Target, just act accordingly. My Target, you know, I've had no issues there. It's been perfect. Everyone lines up. We chill. We talk. We hang out. It's become a fun community. I know there's some bad apples out there, but um, let's do our part and, you know, keep this, uh, keep it going. We want to get our retail, our retail product as it's super hard to get stuff online right now. Or you're paying extreme prices for um secondary market value but again very happy to see this announcement today um i doubt there's gonna be any negative feedback regarding this um so you, i mean you can let me know how you're feeling in the, the comments below but uh, a great day and all for um retail news all right so now let's go back to the ripping we're gonna rip this collectible uh card club box right now Alrighty, YouTube, here we are with our collectible um, card club membership box. This box right here has 15 packs in it. And this pack is, I forget what it's called, but it is a $60 uh, per month membership. Um, we have baseball, basketball, and football. They have a whole entire different assortments of boxes. Um, if you're interested, they have, um, I mean, you can do boxes if you just want to do baseball, if you want to just do football, if you just want to do basketball. All those prices uh, change accordingly, depending on what you select. Um, they have prices as cheap as $15 a month and prices as expensive as $1,000 a month. I believe $999 is the most expensive package. Um, so we're going to open this box right here. This is going to have a variety of uh, baseball, basketball, football. Let's see, where's where do we cut that? Right here, collectible cards. Don't cut towards, don't cut towards you. Come on. Took a little bit out there. All right, here we are, the reveal. All right, first of all, no stickers. Uh, like we had last month, no NBA stickers. We're right off the back box. I'm happy to see we have a hobby pack of Bowman. That's always fun. See a lot of baseball. Tops 2020 series. Tops 2021 heritage. We got some hoops. We got Panini Threads 2011. 
Diamond Kings, five cards per pack. We have uh, the draft edition, this Bowman. Hot Prospects, tops. Got one of these last time. Got the Joe Mara rookie. 2020 Heritage. Hot Prospects again, I believe we got this last time. NBA Hoops, regular. 2020 opening day. Another Panini Threads. I'm just happy we got no stickers. I think they count stickers as a pack. So, and then to round it out, we have was this Tops Big League Baseball? It's not focusing well, is it? There we go. Hot Prospects 26, and then Panini Prism Basketball Draft Picks five cards. So again, majority of baseball. We got two, three, some football. We're going to open opening day first and heritage. So we got plenty of that this year. Where is this? We'll save the definitely going to save the hoops for last with Panini Prism. Boom, boom. We've opened so much of this. We'll put this up front. We'll top load all that stuff. Heritage right here. Bam, bam. Football, football, football. Draft Kings. A lot of hot prospects, actually. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Let's get this going. Here we are. MLB opening day. For those of you who don't know, this is just the um, this year's 2021, which is like a little opening day logo. They have some, like, uh, what do we have in here? Mascots are a little different. Things along those lines. All right, Marcelo Zuna. We got Ricky, Andres Jimenez, Patrick Corbin, Future Stars, Trent Grisham. Looks like we have a mascot or something back there. Luis Castillo. Is this Cody? Cody Hewer. And then Roberto Clemente, Legends of Baseball. Pack number two, 2021 Heritage. We opened a couple of this on our uh, channel as well. We did a blaster box. Maybe just a blaster box. We have Wilmer Flores, Taylor Williams. I've actually been looking up. There's like some little interesting different variations of these cards. Even though they look the same, there's some different. You have some different team spellings. Um, some have no diamonds. You have some different names going on. There's also been some error cards with different people on the backs. I know like the, for instance, Mike Trout. If you look on some of the backs, there says Paul Goldschmidt on it and vice versa. Um, league leaders, AJ Pollock, Spencer Howard rookie. So we got rookie and then Garrett Hampson, Rockies. So I'll have to look up some of those. I don't think any of them are really different right here. You know, right off the bat, just in case, you know. Boom, boom. I think those are all there. Everyone had their stars. So we're chilling. We'll do NBA hoops. We've opened a ton of NBA hoops this year. Those were the first videos we ripped on this page. Um, tons of blasters. Blasters galore. Done some fat packs as well. Ja, it's always a, I like that Ja card. Mundo Carter. Trey Young. Rui. Ooh. We hit a rookie, auto, or a mem card. I mean, this wasn't a hobby, was it? Let's see. All right, oh, this, is the, this is from the holiday hoops. I didn't even realize it was the holiday hoops. It is hoops, holidays. All right, Josh Green, sweater, jersey patch, or sweater patch, I guess I should say. Um, I got an Aaron Neesmith one earlier. That's kind of a boring, just blue. The Aaron Neesmith one I had is actually pretty cool. Um, we'll put that right there, just because you know, technically a hit. And then, uh, here, where's the Aaron Neesmith? I have actually right here on my desk. I actually have it listed on eBay right now, but here's the Aaron Neesmith. I like that way better than the Josh Green patch. But still fun to get that out of a, uh, a Pat Pokoszewski, Ramsey. Fun little card to get. Josh Green not having, I don't think, much of playing time this year. All right, next we will go 
let's do this panini diamond king moving to baseball or still continue to baseball back to baseball let's go diamond king 2017 this is dunris product or panini product we're not going to have any logos on this so actually it's got a diamond king blaster box 2021 at target this past week so I'll be opening up that sometime this week, so stay tuned for that. Jose Altuve. These are actually pretty cool cards. Lou Gehrig, I like. Ted Williams collection. Pretty nice looking cards. Kyle Ripkins. And then Garrett Cole back when he was on the Pirates. We had classic nice looking cards. Some cool collection cards right there. Nice cards for the collectors. Can you get those old school? All right, 2004 draft edition. Kurt Suzuki, right? Yeah. Again, last time I hit a Joe Maurer, that's pretty cool. 2004 is so long ago. But I like the style of these cards. Cleo Green, blast from the past. I remember that guy was the next big thing. Mike Sweeney, so some of these cards are a little sticky, a little bricked. What do we got here? Kazmatsui. Looks like a, some t is, this, is this a hot prospect? Yeah. Oh, a thousand out of a thousand, bookend, baby. <laughs> Kazmatsui, love it. That's a hit, you know, that's a hit for me. Kazmatsui. What do we have right here? It's just a regular, it's a little... 2005 showcase. Book and Kazmatsu again. These are a little stuck together, a little sweaty. We have uh, Ivan Rodriguez and then Josh Beckett. Fun cards. Kazmatsui. Didn't really pan out. Him nor Khalil Green. All right, we'll go uh, 2020 Heritage next. Minor League Baseball. What I, I was able to get a Topps restock today on uh, some Bowman, Bowman Blasters, or they call them Bowman Values, but got two of those, so those should be coming in sometime. Excited about that. All right, here we are, Jorge, Jorge Mateo. Uh, Jackson and Coar, Chase Rumpf, Quinn Priester. We got a little tiny card, look like a little Cracker Jack card from back in the day. Jaron Dern, Brendan Davis, Bo Naylor, and then Marco Luciano. I believe he's a Giants, right? Giants prospect. Tough to focus. I believe he's Giants, though. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. San Francisco. All right. Let's see, I want to say the Bowman draft after these. We go tops. Mm, let's go 2020 update. Twenty twenty update. So far digging the Kazmatsui. One thousand out of one thousand. All right, Mr. Joe Panic. We have Wade LeBlanc. Kyle Ryan, Josh Taylor, rookie. We got Robert Stevenson, Logan Forsyth, Thomas Nito. Yeah, that was Nino. Tommy Pham, Miguel Cabrera. We got Wade LeBlanc again. A little silver. David Ortiz, Big Poppy, 2010 home run. Zach Greinke, that must be his first Astros card. I know he got traded in what, 2019, maybe not. Peter Lambert, and then Clayton Kershaw. So we got that. Refractor, Wade LeBlanc there. All right, Big League Baseball 2018. This is a hobby box. 10 cards, 2018. Where are rookies 2018? Ballinger? No. Chris Taylor, I think they were 2017, right? Judging Logan Morrison, 
Dixon Machado. It's a good name. Adubo Herrera. Starling Castro. Aaron Aether. Charlie Blackman. Travis Janikowski. We got a flipped card. Is it a rookie? Whip Merrifield? Nah, no, no. But numbered 64 out of 100. Nice looking card. Wit all laid out. Boom. Then we got a, not bad, a gold bordered Miguel Andohar rookie card. There we go. Hit stack, you know. Let's see. So we got, we're using a little different setup for the lenses today. Everyone, the focus doesn't have the autofocus on right now, but. We're working with that, trying something differently, have this plugged directly into my computer instead of uh, filming and transferring over. So we'll see the results of that. We'll see how that goes at the end of the day, and how that transfers over to the YouTube. All right, we're gonna go 2004 Hot Prospects, Fleer, Javi. Got a little crookedness here driving me nuts. Kazmatsui, that's a beautiful card. All right, these from 2006. I'm gonna get a little brick action. Mr. Tony Gonzalez, Anquan Bolden, Stephen Jackson. All right, Hot Prospects, Korean Robinson, and then is this Mr. Tiche Hushmanzada? You say Hushmanzada, I say Hushmanzada. Hot prospects again. I'm pretty sure this is why I got the the Vince Young jersey. Eddie Kennison, Michael Vick. Here we are, rookie cornerback, numbered 658 out of 1150. Josh Lay. I don't think he really, uh, you know, panned out right there, but that's him. Collect the most valuable rookies, upper deck, another little cardboard insert. Javon Walker, Amber Javon, and Mr. Antonio Gates. All right, guys, not, 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 we're not doing too good on the hits right here. Um, we're going to go to, uh, let's go draft 2014 Bowman draft, and then hobby pack as well, seven cards. All right, Hunter Harvey. I like these are nice, very nice, clean looking cards. Hunter Harvey, Forest Wall. Ooh, so for Bowman first Chrome. Marcus Wilson never panned out. I remember him. Dying back fan. There you go, PC. We have Alex Jackson and Michael Conforto. Bowman paper draft. We got another Bowman Chrome first. Nick Torres never panned out either. Michael Sederoth. And then uh, Trevor, uh, Trevor Story. Too bad it's not as Bowman Chrome first, unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right. Now we'll head, finish it off. We have two Panini threads and then we have a Panini Prism and then we'll NBA Hoops Baby. Penny Threads, Mark Ingram, eight cards, hobby. 2011, 2011 draft. Some thickness in here, we get a memo, mem card. Oh, looks like we might've hit something. All right, Mr. Frank Gore, still going strong 10 years later, baby. Troy Palomalu, Kellen Winslow, one's the mem card coming up. cards coming up next. We will, you know, we'll let that one breathe a little bit. Tyrone Smith, rookie. Mr. Jason Witten just retired again. Mod. Mod Bracha. Oh my god, I haven't heard that name in a long while. Brandon Marshall. Mario Manningham, and then here we are. Let's see who this is. Big hit. Is that a Raven? Bronco? 
And this is Kelman's, okay, turned over. Here we go, next card, next card. Rookie class, it's a rookie. Jaquise Rogers of the Falcons. We got a, so we got the Vince Young, same thing last, or a little different last time, but we got the, uh, the, the jersey. Looks like that's the O in Rogers. And there's his signature. And does it say 126? Is that what it says on it? Maybe that's just GQ's Rogers. That's the R. There you are, numbered 191 out of 350. All right, there you go, there you go. Oh, another thick pack. You get two back to back. Did we? Did we? Let's look. We a little thickness right there. All right. Penny threads coming in clutch. Giving us the threads. All right. Mr. Larry Fitzgerald. Brian Cushing. Oh, I already got stuck. Sydney Rice. God, no other names I haven't heard in forever. You guys might have seen that card. I did not. It looked like a Bengal, maybe. Anthony Allen. This is actually the guy I got the rookie uh, autograph rookie of last time. Felix Jones, Reggie Bush, Donnie Avery, Lewis Murphy. All right, Sydney Rice. Let's see who's behind Sydney. I think it is a Bengal, right? Rudy Johnson. No. Bengals. Oh, Andy Dalton, rookie Panini thread. There you go. Numbered. Ooh, baby. What do we got? 83 out of 299. Andy Jelton memo card. It's a nice looking. I mean, it's at least a nice looking little patch, you know, black, whatever. All right, the hits keep coming, guys. The hits keep coming. Let's keep it going. Good times rolling. Panini Prism. Five cards. Maybe this might just be out of blaster. The most random, just looking around, the most random cards you get from this these packs. All right, here we are. Aaron Nismith starting to pop off right now. Ooh, a nice. Was this an orange or a red? Peyton Pritchard. Very handsome looking card. Ashton Higgins. Not sure who he is. Obi underperformed this year, underwhelming. And then Jaden McDaniels. All right. Those are your uh, your NBA. Oh, we got, what was there? Aaron Neesmith right there. All right. Here we are. Last pack. Last pass. Last pack magic mojo. Here we go. Um, let's hope for Zion. Ja Morant. Four pack. I think this is from that uh, blaster. All right. Marcus Smart. Mikael Bridges. What does this say? Ooh. I mean, it's not the, you know, it's the tribute John Morant, but still a John Morant rookie. All right, all right. And then last but not least, we have a uh, green Will Barton, but no, we hit Ja. Even though it's his tribute card, still a cool Ja Morant rookie. I've had a couple of these already, but still um, very nice hit. Here we are, everyone. The final tally. We got some, uh, we'll move these cards right here. Mr. Ja, we'll put him front and center. These are, you know, quote unquote, the hits. Um, we definitely didn't get our, you know, more or less make our value money back from that, but um, it's still always fun to rip these. And again, it's still something you can get if you can't get retail. Um, I definitely recommend trying this out at least. I'll try one more time. We have one more, I think, coming up this month. So this is technically April's. I just delayed in posting this or filming this. And then um, we'll be getting that one soon. So let me know what you think of the collectible card club box. Um, also, let me know. I mean, I'm assuming everyone's going to be happy about the target. The new, or the, excuse me, the release uh, announcement by Panini. Um, very great news all around for the hobby. 
um, keep prices at you know the normal retail. Hopefully, there won't be an inflection. And then, um, guys, again, thanks for all the support so far. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and then uh, comment below. All right, everyone. Until next time, um, appreciate it. Take care. We'll be back this week, maybe with that Diamond King blaster box. Uh, maybe we might get those Panini, or excuse me, the Prism Hoops blasters this week, as well as, uh, you know, our Friday update. And we'll see what we score. All right, everyone. Take care. Have a great evening.